Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance, Paper 1, Physics, in the year 2019. The question was from the based, uh, from the topic of optics and this was uh, uh, on the marking scheme of new uh, multiple choice correct. Uh, this was based uh, precisely from the topic of lenses and this was one of the better questions in Paper 2. Some of the students found difficulty in this and hence they left out this question. Also, many students adopted uh, differentiation method and ended up doing it wrong. So we will see why differentiation method is wrong in this question and what should be the correct way to see this. So basically what is happening over here, there is a lens uh, which if we create by, uh, you know, this convex lens is of um, same radii of curvature. That means it's an equiconvex lens. When we use a common refractive index, like, you know, that means if we use a single refractive index to create the whole lens, which is of value n, then the focal length is f. But if we uh, use n1, um, uh, if we use n for the left half and slightly different refractive index, n plus delta n for the second half, okay. So in that case, focal length changes by uh, amount delta f. Further, the change in the value of delta n for the second half has been given much less than n minus 1 and value of n lies between 1 and 2. So we have to choose the options. Okay. Now, uh, first thing, let's see. Uh, if n lies between 1 and 2, that means n minus 1 will lie between 0 and 1. And delta n is much, much less than n minus 1. That means delta n is much, much less than 0 and 1. Therefore, we can say that the change in the n is very, very small for the second half. Now, let's start solving this question. So basically, this is our lens, right? Uh, so first, if it is made up of a uniform refractive index n, let us say. So in that case, we can say that 1 by f will come out to be n minus 1 into 1 by r plus 1 by r. So that will be equals to 2 by r, 2 by r, right? 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and r2 is negative. So we will put uh, one more minus sign. So we will get uh, 2 by r. Correct. Now, from here, we, uh, if this second half is actually made up of n plus delta n, then we can treat it as a combination of two lenses, uh, where first lens is, let's say, f1 and second lens is f2. The focal length of the first lens f1 hai, and the focal length of second lens is f2. So in this case, f will be, 1 by f equivalent will be 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2, right? Now, what will be value of f1? Uh, this will behave as a plano convex lens of refractive index n. So, it will become n minus 1 into 1 by r minus 1 by infinity because this surface is of infinite focal length, uh, radi radius. Plus, for the second, the refractive index has become n plus delta n. So, we will write n plus delta n minus 1 and this will become 1 by uh, 1 by r1 is infinity so that will become 0 0 minus 1 by r2 r2 is actually minus r right so that will become like this okay now some of the students they have issue like they feel as if this lens you know if you remember, this formula can be applied only if a lens is present in a uniform medium. That means on both sides, the medium should be same. Now, they might feel, some of you might feel that this lens, left lens, ke left side mein to air hai, but on the right side, we have got lens, another lens. So, how am I applying this formula? In reality, if you think, the next slide, pe to, if you think that ye jo lens hai, left wala, is type ki, situation right now okay and we are bringing these two lenses very very close to each other very very close to each other such that eventually what we see is like this basically what i am trying to say can we treat it to mess some joke yeah baby kuch nahi hai. now you have kept one lens so can we say that this lens is in air yes lens one is in air now you bring lens to in air now you keep lens to in air and bring it very very close so we can feel as if there is a slight molecules like you know bahut hi thin layer of air present hai one or two ke beech mein but it is not visible to us so basically one or two bahut hi pass rakhe hue hain dono air mein 
यू कैन थिंक भाई दो आदमी बहुत पास खड़े हैं दोनों एयर में लाइक दैट ओके तो सो बेसिकली वी कैन अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला एंड हेंस व्हाट डज दिस बिकम दिस बिकम्स इफ यू सी दिस विल बिकम एन प्लस एन वन बाई आर तो कॉमन आ जाएगा एन प्लस एन टू एन माइनस टू प्लस डेल्टा एन सो टू एन माइनस टू प्लस डेल्टा एन इन टू वन बाई आर ठीक है नाउ दिस टू एन माइनस टू इन टू वन बाई आर विल बिकम वन बाई एफ करेक्ट ये टू इसके साथ मल्टीप्लाई हो जाएगा तो एन माइनस वन इंटू टू बाई आर विल बिकम वन बाई एफ सो दिस विल बिकम वन बाई एफ एंड वी विल बी लेफ्ट विद डेल्टा एन बाई आर दिस इज एक्चुअली वन अपॉन एफ इक्वेलेंट राइट नो इफ वी मैन्यूपुलेट दिस वन अपॉन एफ इक्वेलेंट माइनस वन अपॉन एफ इज इक्व टू डेल्टा एन बाई आर वन बाई आर को वी कैन राइट फ्रॉम हियर वन अपॉन एफ इंटू टू इंटू एन माइनस वन ओके एंड वॉट डू वी गेट हियर नाउ एफ इक्वेलेंट कैन बी डेन एफ प्लस डेल्टा एफ ओके एफ इक्वेलेंट वॉज दी इक्वेलेंट फोकल लेंथ ऑफ दिस सो बेसिकली वॉट दिस कैन बी डन एज ओरिजिनल एफ प्लस एनी चेंज दैट हैज हैपन इन एफ ओके सो आई एम राइटिंग दिस एज एफ प्लस डेल्टा एफ मेक सेंस Now, if you take the LCM, so in the numerator you will get minus delta f divided by f into f plus delta f. This will become delta n upon 2 f into n minus 1. Okay, so f and f will be gone. From here, what do we get? Minus delta f upon f plus delta f is equal to delta n upon 2 uh, 2 into n minus 1. Right? If you see this relation, we know that delta n is a very small quantity. We have already talked about that in the starting, and hence can we say that delta f will also be, you know, right? RHS is very very small, and hence RHS must be very very small, which implies delta f is also a very very small quantity. Okay, so it will not be a crime to write this as minus delta f upon f because in presence of f we can ignore delta f. So this will be delta l upon delta n upon two into n minus one, right? Now we are ready for some of the options. If you go to uh, option number C, okay. If we, okay, yeah, let's start with option number C. Okay, let option A. I think is very very easy to find. If delta n by n is less than zero, delta f by f is greater than zero. Okay. So this, this of course is right because you can see. Uh, both of them have a negative sign if delta f is negative then delta n will be positive it is clear from this what we are getting so of course if this is negative then one of them has to be negative and one of them has to be positive so option a is definitely correct okay let's talk about option c now delta it is saying delta f by f is less than delta n by n okay so what i am going to do i am going to put the let's check if this option is right or not Okay, let's assume this is correct. So this delta f by f less than delta n by n implies delta f by f modulus less than delta n by n. This implies now I can put the value of delta f by f from here. So this will become minus delta n upon two into n minus one inside the modulus. That should be less than delta n by n. That means if we have to if we have to uh, check for this, that means it is equivalent of checking for this. now inside the modulus there is no significance of negative sign so you can ignore negative and um, delta n will cancel out so this will become 2 n minus 1 less than 1 upon n modulus i have removed because already i know that n is greater than 1 so now this may, this means that uh, 2 n minus 2 will be greater than n because i have taken reciprocal so sign of equality will change so this will become n Must be greater than two. So if n is greater than two, then only this equality will be or inequality will be correct. But if you see in the question, n was given between one and two, and hence this inequality is wrong. Therefore, we can say that option C is wrong. Right. For option B, it is very simple. Just use this relation. Okay. Let me write this again. Delta f upon f is equals to delta n upon two into n minus one with a negative sign. 
so if you put the value of uh, huh, n equals to 1.5 f equals to 0.2 delta n equals to 10 to the power minus 3 okay so what do we get delta f is equals to delta n was how much one point uh, delta n was 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 into f was 0.2 that means 20 i am putting in meters and n was 1.5 i guess yes so this will become 0.5 right so this becomes uh draw meter becomes one so this becomes so let's convert this into centimeters itself so this is 20 centimeters okay so this becomes 0 0.02 centimeter delta f and it will be a negative value but in the question we are being asked the uh, modulus value and hence we can say that modulus of delta f will be plus 0 0.02 centimeters if you look in the options they are saying to round off to second decimal place but if you see i was uh, like i did not round off i actually got 0 0.02 what might be the reason behind this the reason is that exact relation is this but i have used an approximate relation you can also do the calculations from this relation as i said in this case i have ignored delta f in presence of f but if you use this relation calculation will become slightly you know difficult but you will see that delta f will become you know 0 0.02 something something so that when rounded off will again become 0 0.02 and hence you know that so this also shows you that you know making this assumption was reasonable enough because when you round off to second place of decimal by this exact formula then also you are going to get the same answer so this was also one more evidence that you know this assumption is absolutely fine right one more option is left uh, delta f the relation between delta f by f and delta n by n remains unchanged if both the convex surfaces are replaced by concave surfaces of same radii of curvature this is also correct uh, option b was also correct by the way because we found the same value so yes option d is also correct why because if you see this relation is independent of the value of r there is no feature like r is not coming over here so this is correct if you want a more detailed explanation then let us see why is this coming in dependent of r basically if we would have used concave lenses please follow what i am saying if we would have used concave lens then here we would have got a minus r correct are you follow for because 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and r1 is negative and r2 is positive so both like 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 r1 is negative and r2 is positive so overall this quantity would have become negative right so i can say that this would have become minus right so here this would have become minus and this would have this also would have become minus right so here you would have got a minus here would have got a minus right now basically n so basically here we would have got a minus sign i hope you're getting minus 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 okay you would have got a minus minus everywhere now this n minus one into minus one by r would have been replaced by one by f so this whole thing would have become one by f with a minus sign and here one min here minus r would have been present minus r would have been present now 1 by minus r again would have been replaced by this whole thing hai na? minus 1 by r ki value yahan se dal sakte. so can you feel that we would have gotten exactly this relation exactly a relation aata. Sare minus jate. can you feel this do this on your own you will understand what i am saying Ye sare minus ho jayenge, you will get exactly this relation and hence same thing will follow so i am removing all this minus sign which i have written over here so we can say that you will get the same relation right so this ends the solution one more thing i told you in the start of the video that i will be talking about why differentiation method is wrong now some of the students in the exam what they did they wrote this relation n minus 1 into 2 by r which i had written over here yeah and they differentiated they differentiated this key delta f upon f square negative is equals to when you differentiate this delta n into 2 by r okay now this is wrong why is this wrong because this would have been correct if we were using the same n for whole lens for example agar question ye hota ki this is the lens 
made up of refractive index n now we are changing the value of n by delta n so what will be changing the focal length then this was right but remember we are changing the value of delta n only for the right half not for the full lengths so this n remains the same and only this n it changes so you cannot do this ye kab karte agar pure lens ka n slightly delta n change hota tab ye karte so i hope you would have understood guys i hope you would have enjoyed the solution i could i was trying to you know discuss about every possible case or every possible scenario that i could think of thank you